I finally made a hair video for you all, so here we go. My natural hair journey started out as an accident, really. I had only relaxed my hair for about two and a half years because I could not manage my natural hair at the time, and straight hair was all the rage. By 2007, the relaxers had broken my hair off so bad that my mother refused to let me get them anymore. I didn't know about the natural world at all, but I had to figure it out. I kept it in protective styles for over a year. I didn't know they were called protective styles at that time. All I knew was that braids and twists made my hair grow, so that's what I did. I also didn't know that I was transitioning, but I knew I did not want to be bald. I kept the bad ends until one day I got so fed up with the two textures, I came home and demanded my mother to cut off the dead ends. I was so happy, but I had no idea what to do with my hair. These were not the days of YouTube or the internet, so I slapped some gel in my hair and called it a day. Then one day I went to my cousin's house and that's when I discovered a flat iron. And that's where we will begin. This is 2007 when I made my big chop and I discovered what a flat iron did for my hair. Sometimes I twisted it, but that flat iron was my best friend. As you can see, heat damage got me, but no one even told me I was damaging my hair. I still got protective styles occasionally, but I was still killing my hair with my flat iron. Look at that horrible heat damage. At this point, I was in school and of course the flat iron was still my best friend. And I had no curl pattern, but everyone still loved my hair. I love my hair too, and you could not tell me anything. I thought I was fly. I was still the flat iron queen, and I even dyed the front of my hair because I wanted a streak so bad. I invested in wigs, and then I did the worst thing. I cut my hair into a bob because my boyfriend at the time didn't like when I put my hair up, so I thought that cutting it would be a better solution. And then this. Literally, no one told me how bad my hair looked. My hair was so dead at this point. 2011 was when I did my second big chop, and this is when I decided to go completely natural and I discovered the curly go method. So wash and goes were my best friend. I also loved my curl patterns and I started to see growth in my hair. My hair was so healthy and thick. I still wore my wigs and put my hair in protective styles from time to time just to give my hair a break. 2012 was when I started taking strides in learning how to care for my natural hair and how to just keep it healthy. I even still wore my weaves from time to time <laughs> just to keep my hair protected, but I was definitely seeing a lot of growth. I straightened my hair after a whole year of no heat and I was so amazed at how thick and healthy my hair was. Then I discovered mini twists and <laughs> that was my favorite style for a really long time. I remember this day so clearly. I was so happy that I could finally get my hair up in a puff and I wore a puff for I think like two weeks straight. I was starting to get the hang of this natural hair thing. I loved my hair texture. I loved all the versatility in the styles that I can do. And I just saw so much growth and so much health in my hair. It was amazing. Around this time was when I also started paying attention to what products I put in my hair and this is when I started using more natural products or all natural products, you know, without parabens and sulfates and things like that. I also was co-washing so I stopped using shampoos and different things like that and I noticed a dramatic change in the state of my hair.
2013 was when I really started seeing length in my hair. I was still experimenting with styles and of course I would always have my hair out. Everyone knew me as the girl with the afro. It was my favorite thing to do with my hair. Everything was going so great until one of the worst hair days of my life. I had a really bad situation with curl formers and my hair came out like a bird's nest. I tried to fix it, I tried to comb it, I tried to condition it. But when I flat ironed it, my ends were so disgusting I had to cut off about two inches of my hair. I remember that day I thought about getting a relaxer again and I was so pissed off. Like I was so angry and I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna keep pushing forward with this. I felt like I had lost so much growth. I was so upset, but it didn't stop me. I kept going and I still kept taking care of my hair. Two thousand thirteen was definitely the year of experimentation for me. I tried so many styles, used different products, tried to figure out what worked for me. But I had so much fun with my hair at this time. fro was getting bigger and bigger and then I decided that I wanted a gray streak in my hair but it ended up coming out blonde but it was cool with me. This day, 2013, I finally reached bra strap length and I was beyond excited. I was still playing around with wigs and different things, but of course I loved my hair out. I decided to revisit the wash and go for a little bit because I was tired of doing my hair. And it was cool, but I still didn't love it completely but I kept playing around with it and experimenting to see if there were any products that made me really like my wash and go. And this happened to be around the time when I made my um, As I Am video with the curling jelly. Yeah, this. <laughs> Again, my hair was growing so beautifully and I was loving it. My pineapple is amazing, my fro is amazing. Of course, I would throw it in a protective style every now and again, but other than that, I would have my hair out in its natural state. Again, this is a year where I saw so much growth in my hair, so much length retention, so much thickness, my ends weren't split. It was just a really, really good year. Ow, look how thick my twists were. Oh my gosh, so amazing. This was one of my goals that I achieved, being able to reach my hand up all the way and stretching out my hair. I passed brush strap length, and again, I was just wearing my hair out, letting it do its thing, not manipulating it too much. Is my sister at her bridal shower. Clearly we have really good jeans. Our hair is really awesome. Then 
then of course I had to do something dramatic and I shaved off the side of my head which I have a video on that so many people seem to like watching and I still had my length but I shaved my side and I loved it I actually did it because I was rebelling against my job but I still loved it nonetheless was so thick and full and I decided to shave more of my side. I shaved my hair again just to see how long it was and again I was in love with all the length that I was retaining. December 13, 2014, I thought this was a really great day to start something amazing. So I decided to start locking my hair. I started out 2015 locked and my hair was doing its thing. It was locking, it was growing, and I was loving it. Within four months, my hair started to fully lock. And then, I was in Hawaii with my ex for my birthday, but I was so depressed. I felt locked up, I felt caged, and it was a really bad time for me. So right before we left, I decided to comb out my locks and break up with my boyfriend in Hawaii on my birthday. What, who does that? I do. But once I did it, I combed out my locks and there was so much growth. I felt so happy and so free. Me and my friends made a joke. This was Return of the Main by Jay Chavez. All this hair and I was so happy. But I did notice that my hair texture was a little bit different. I guess it was all those months of me not being able to super deep condition my hair in the locks. But it was still growing. Then I moved to Georgia and I just kept my hair in protective styles for a few months between braids, twists, faux locks, crochet braids, and wigs. I just kept my hair protected and covered up. In 2016, I decided to flat iron my hair just to see how long everything was. My hair was still growing and I was finally able to put my hair up in a ponytail because my shaved side was still growing out. I was so happy. I was beyond happy actually. But I still would keep my hair in protective style sometimes my mini twists and other times I would just have it all out in its natural froish glory. state is my hair in now all right so this is where I am now it's May 2016 um, this is two day hair so so this is where I am my hair it's it's there it's just really shrunken <laughs> my shrinkage is gray gray From the back, I brought my shave side and pull it all away so you all can see. So this here is my shave side. I don't know what this little thing is. So the back of my hair grows really, really fast. So as you see, this is also part of the part that I shaved. So we're already past collarbone length. And then this is also all over here. I had it in twists this is the part that I shaved. So we're there, we're getting there. So that's where I am right now in my hair journey. 
right now my goal all right i look crazy so my goal right now is you see like this little gapage i need it to be nice and long i need this side to look like this yeah i need i need this so hopefully within the next year and a half or so it'll get there my ultimate goal in life is to like get nipple length or like below nipple length so that my hair when it's straight it can stretch below the breast area so I'm not gonna do anything else to my hair this year mostly protective styles um, braids twists so yeah that's it Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed my hair journey for the past nine years and hopefully you'll stick with me and you can see more growth and changes as it comes.